the aftermath. Basically taking stuff off the wires from the snow, you know, the weight of the snow brought them down onto the wire, so that's pretty much what we're doing. This storm dumped up to a foot of snow in parts of the state. In many towns, people brought out their snow blowers, most of which have seen little to no activity this winter. Elsewhere, there were dozens of accidents and snow-covered streets. The storm also closed many schools. It kept custodial workers here in Hopewell outside and on the job. I hope this is the last one. Yeah, why is that? Uh, I'm not fond of snow. You don't mind it? a visit. No, I don't mind it. Gives the kids a day off? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's good for them. More good for them than it is for me. On the plus side, thousands of kids got what could be one last opportunity to bring out their tubes, sleds, and saucers this year. With a day out of the classroom, no one at this well-worn hill in Hopewell was complaining. It's pretty fun, but sometimes snow gets stuck in your boots, but... Other than that, it's pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Did you mind getting a day off from school today? I loved it. Is this better than uh, being in school? Yeah. How come? Better. Because school, you have to do all this work. And out here you get to play. Fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. You gonna stay out here all day? Yep. Overall, many people tell us this storm was more of an inconvenience than a serious problem. That's because crews like this one were out quickly fixing down lines. Plus, don't forget spring is less than a week away. The temperatures in the 50s and even 60 could come as soon as tomorrow. Rich Young, NJN News, Princeton. PSE&G says power should be restored to all of its customers by midnight tonight. GPU says it could take until tomorrow to get everyone back online. Governor Whitman is beginning her South American trip on a green note. She 